Hi, my name is Lulu. I'm just a cat who likes to study and have fun. <laughs> That's why we should be friends with you and become best friends. Click on the red button under the video, click the bell and let's start our new interesting lesson about the seasons. Every winter is different. Somewhere is a lot of snow, somewhere is less, and somewhere isn't any. So the only thing that unites us all in winter is Christmas. Agree that we all love Christmas gifts! <laughs> ho, ho. In winter you can play snowballs all day and sled. The main thing that there are supposed to be a lot of snow. But my favorite winter game is to make snowmen. <laughs> cool, right? And let's make it with you right now. First, we make a big snow globe on which our snowman will stand. Then, a little smaller and put it on the one that we made before. Just like this. And now, we need to make another ball, but a small one. It will be the head of our snowman. Now, take two dry twigs and attach them to the place of hand. But in any way do not break the branches from the trees, because the trees are alive plants and they also can be heard, even in winter when they sleep. Then, make the snowman face, attach the nose of carrots and eyes of two stones. And in order for him not to freeze, put a hat on his head. This is how you can spend your time with friends in winter. After winter, what time of year do we have? It's spring, correct! Hooray! This is the first spring flower. Look how beautiful it is. As you can see, it's white. What else is white? White are snowflakes, milk, and this color can be a rabbit. In spring, whole nature wakes up from winter sleep and plants and animals and farmers at this time begin to host the field, plow it and plant various crops. At this time of year, everyone is happy and joyful. And with the first rays of the spring sun, wants to run into the forest to collect flowers. And let's try to draw a flower. So put the video on pause, take a piece of paper and pencil and let us start. Draw the circle of small size by a simple pencil. It will be the middle of our chamomile. Then draw a line down from it. Thus, draw the stem of the flower. Now, draw another circle around the previous one. It will be an approximate limit, which should adhere to the painted petals. And draw two sharp leaves below. That's all! Now it remains to paint our chamomile. As we already know, the stem of the flowers should be green. The bud make yellow and petals white. But this is our chamomile, so we can paint it as we want. You can make it blue, red, purple, orange or even pink. It all depends on your imagination. Summer! And who does not like it? During this time of year, adults go on holiday. And children, on vacation, everybody have a rest, sunbathe on the beach and swim in the sea. In summer, we can enjoy the most delicious fresh fruits. Let's see what kinds of fruits you know. These are bananas. They are brought to us from distant Africa. They pluck them when they are still green and on the way to the store, they ripen and become yellow. These bananas are yellow. A strawberry is one of the earliest berries, which first ripens in early summer and bears fruits for several weeks. Strawberries are red. And it's plum. It's blue, but it also happens to be purple. There is very delicious jam of such plums, and especially tasty in winter. Tangerines are grown in many countries where the climate is warm and the winter is not frosty. Tangerines are orange. An apple. Apples have many varieties. Some are sour, others sweet. Some are even as sweet as honey. 
This apple is green. When autumn comes, the forest dresses in red and yellow colors and prepares for winter. School children go to school and farmers harvest and plant winter crops. But it is not so sad as you think, because Halloween is coming. So let's get ready for it and learn how to cut a pumpkin so that all were afraid and bought you candies. So let's take the biggest pumpkin, cut off the top tail and put it aside. We will still need it. Then throw the hole that was formed. We will get all the filling of the pumpkin so that there remains only solid foundation. Then we cut out eyes. They should be triangular. It is such a geometric figure that has three corners, so it is called a triangle. Cut out teeth like this. Now we see the teeth in our pumpkin are square. Such a geometric form is called a square. Later, let the candle, put it inside and close the hole in the top with a tail. But do not cut the pumpkin by yourself in any way, but only with mom or dad, because such little kids like you can get hurt. I think that you liked today's lessons and you got to learn a lot of new and interesting things. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if you want to be my friend. It is under the video. And see you next time!